hello and welcome back viewers and subscribers of avg news uh Singube is my name i want to respond to a few people who have just uh, sent me messages asking about the situation in especially central johannesburg areas like yelpro yovel Berea, after they've been told that there is a lot uh, of uh, arrests that are happening in a number of areas around those uh, places before i go ahead i would like to ask you to subscribe to this channel like this video and share it so what is happening uh, is uh, the way some raids in yovel that we reported about about two weeks ago uh, where the whole rocky street or a section rather of rocky street are along the busiest areas of the street uh, including super pets shop right going down to malala ituka uh, were raided by members of the south african police service uh, in the company of home affairs officials they shut down shops arrested people that are working and those uh, who were trying to buy stuff from there they went to super pets in your in your well and we are told that they arrested people both those who are working there and those who had gone in to to, to place their pets uh we, we we don't know as yet uh how many people were arrested nor do we know where they were taken but we were told that they spent the night um in Yovel and Hillpro police station. Some were taken to court. I don't know what happened there. There are others who were made to pay fines and they were released. So then uh, just a few days ago, we were told that some areas and some shops in Hillpro and today some areas in Hillpro again were raided. We don't know as yet how many people were arrested or this is an operation that is targeting everywhere. And we are also told that in the West Rand, and Tarfontaine, there were also some arrests uh, of uh, people who are here without proper documentation. And what we can say is that for as long as this is done by law enforcement agents, uh, there is nothing wrong with it because this is basically what they are employed to do. And we know that South Africa and South Africans in general have been complaining uh, about the presence of undocumented people who are very difficult to trace. And you know that where people remain undocumented, the crime rate also tends to rise because people who are undocumented uh, know that there's a, no way of tracking them and tracing them and they would be uh, free uh, to do anything depending on their level of, uh, of thought, of thinking, and uh, their backgrounds as well as their uh, dispositions. So we don't think that uh, there is anything wrong with that. And uh, also, you know about the security issue uh, in South Africa, especially because of the presence uh, of undocumented people. So as long as this is, as this is done, by law enforcement agents without the involvement of vigilantes, then there is nothing that we see wrong with it. But of course, there is an outcry that even people who are awaiting renewal of their asylum seeker permits, which expired during the COVID times, and they were made to apply uh, online, but have not yet been given any response or any renewal, have also been rounded up, and some of them have been arrested, and it's becoming a bit difficult uh, for them to to, to, to to plead their case because they are in possession of what are said to be expired documents when it is actually the Home Affairs Department which is taking time to respond to their applications for renewal. So this is where the problem then becomes. Otherwise, this is what we had. Thank you very much. Enjoy the rest of your day and your weekend. Please do not forget to subscribe like this video and share it.